Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the live stream. If you're new here, first of all, just wanted to welcome you. And if you're watching this at a later date, it'll be known as Keith Condensed. It's basically a, a mini series, mini clips that I that I pull out from the actual live stream of different topics, questions, and all that kind of stuff that I get. So what I try to do is address questions that I come up in the stream. But uh, if I don't get any questions, then I pull them from the comments and. Uh, every Tuesday I try to do an article review, so something that's kind of up in the news that I can kind of give my opinion on or something along those lines. And then, then actually at the end of the week, so for me it'll be tomorrow, I give away half an ounce of silver to the person who has the most K-Coin. And if you're like, Coach, what is K-Coin? Well, well K-Coin is something that you'll have to find out about on the live stream. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. Ivan asked, Snapchat shares how much each? What shares did you own in Robinhood? I really trust what you do and what you buy and sell or sell. For sure. Thanks, Ivan, for the for the question. That actually came from my uh, video I released yesterday, Robinhood Recap June Edition. Uh, I had eight shares. I had bought eight shares of Snapchat. How many Snapchat shares? How much each? My average cost per share was, I think, $12.05. I'll go ahead and... Uh, try to get on Robinhood real quickly. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and log into Robinhood and, and try to exactly kind of walk you through uh, the history on the account. Because I know when I talked about it on the actual video, it didn't really make as much sense, uh, but this is kind of what all happened. Let's go back to May. Snapchat, I bought three shares on May 1st for $13.88. On May 2nd, I bought another share for $11.21. On May 2nd, again, I bought another share for $11.18. May 2nd, I bought another share for, at $11. And then May 3rd, $10.82. And May 4th, at $10.64. So as you can tell, I, I was actually sliding down pretty heavily. I think at one point, I was about 20% down. So th that's that's pretty reasonable. I mean, for me, it was kind of like, I'm only going to put in $100, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, and I wasn't planning on holding on to it for that long. And then I went ahead and sold for $13.63 a share, uh, seven shares. So I still have one left over. I had an average cost, I think, around $12.05 or something like that. And then to go ahead and answer the second part of your question, what shares do I own currently? Uh, I own quite a bit of them. Um, I actually own through three different platforms, but I know that you said specifically Robinhood. And just because I want to put this disclaimer out there, just because I own these shares does not mean that you should go pick them up or buy them. Some of them, I don't I don't know if they'll continue to go up or if they're, they're already done climbing and I'm just collecting off dividends. I All I know is that these are the shares that, I, that these are the companies that I own and you should not just go out. You should not go out and buy them because I own them solely for that reason. I would say go out and do your own research. Look at opposing views. Look at other people's portfolios and then make the best decision you can when you go to purchase your sock because you're ultimately responsible for your own assets. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I don't know if you can really make it out. I'm gonna to try to zoom in quite a bit and I'll run you kind of through exactly what I have. So SCHH, that's a, a REIT. HPT, another REIT, NFLT, JNK, SCHD, CRF, CLM, IIPR, TRX, RING, BTG, IAU, SLV, SFS, XXII, SLCA, FBP, PFXF, PHO, ICLN, AIEQ, HTUS, ALT, SNG, GE, VMIN, G R P N and Snap S N A P. Those are all the shares that I currently positions that I currently have open on Robinhood. As far as the size of them, uh, you would have to look probably down in this area. That's pretty much the over overall spreadsheet right there. I'll try to move it over so that way you can see everything and pause if you would like. Anyways, so that that's pretty much that's pretty much sums it up. So uh, I sold seven shares of Snapchat, and my average cost per share I think was like twelve oh five. Um, as you can see, I started buying around thirteen dollars and sixty eight cents ish. As far as what I hold in my portfolio right now, you can see that 
and I mean, thanks for believing in my strategy. I, I, I don't really know if it will have long-term success. It's kind of one of those things that I just uh, hope cross my fingers. I know that staying in the market is better than getting out of it. And so um, I plan on just utilizing dollar cost averaging and maybe pick up some swing trading again here in the future. But for right now, everything is kind of set in stone until I make percentage adjustments. And then from there, uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you for asking, Ivan. Thank you for asking. I really appreciate it. And if you guys do have any questions that are similar to that or any questions at all, feel free to comment on this video or comment in the live stream and I would love to address them ASAP. Anyways, until next time, it's been real. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.